Hey, what's up guys? This is Loma and we're back with another market update video. I know it's been a while since we've had one of these and a lot has happened, right? I mean, I think the last time we were talking about it, we might have just broken 20k. I don't even remember, but it was around that area. So yeah, we're already trading at 44,000. We're going to get right into the, the details and the analysis, but before we do, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thumbs up like the video hit the notification bell yada 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 you guys know what to do i appreciate you guys and uh, let's get right into it so normally i would start on a higher time frame right so like i'd start with the monthly or maybe the weekly but being that we are in price discovery and we just broke all-time highs there's the elon tesla news uh there's just not much price action to work with here right like what am i really looking at you know that i can't see on like a three day or a one day right like if i if i turn to the monthly the fuck am i gonna do there <laughs> there's not much analysis right i can target like last monthly high or whatever right but you could see that on like the three day as well right so we're gonna go ahead jump to the three day so you're gonna see that we had this area, right? Which was the initial rejection. So we got up to around 40,000-ish area, rejected, consolidated for, I don't know, maybe like a month, right? So most of January, we had this little consolidation, this reaccumulation period. Um, and then we had the Elon pump. So. After the Elon pump, which, which was like, I don't know, the biggest daily candle in a while, right? If not the biggest, um, we should see some type of pullback, right? Just, you had an insane move. So this was probably the Elon candle right here. It's like a 20% candle, $8,000 move, give or take. Uh, it would make sense for us to come down here and test this area, right? So this 40K area, um now is it likely that we come down and test this area exactly the answer is no i don't think that's going to happen and let me explain why so when you're looking at price action right ideally you get the perfect retest and you you long a lot right here and then it, it fucking flies up and you make a lot of money right that's like the uh that's what they teach you in the books right uh, you read a textbook or whatever, they're like, yo, buy, buy support, bro. Yes, that's pretty much the ideal entry, right? So this this retest around this area, if you can even get be just below 40K, very good entry. I'd probably hold that for the rest of the bull market. But guess what? It's a great idea. Therefore, I have that idea. You have that idea. Your mom has that idea. Your friends have that idea every influencer on twitter has that idea um so guess what happens it most likely gets front ran around these two levels right because people start aggressively entering especially in a bull market where people i guess have the assumption that price is going to go up because well i mean it, it, it has been right like since since three and a half thousand dollars it's just been you buy any dip and you're rewarded right so dip buyers are probably going to come out very shortly i think uh even above this area you know like personally i would start layering in around 43k so just below this wick if not the if not the bottom like there's a very good chance that this could be the bottom and we'll talk about that on the daily which we'll get to right now so Again, um, these were the levels marked out on the three day. And price does seem like it's, it's nuking down, right? So you have an SFP right here, printed a new all time high. So I can mark this out, right? Right, okay, so all time highs, right? So our new all time high is around 48.1 thousand, right? And you're seeing follow through to the downside. Daily candle just opened. Okay, and there's a very, very, very realistic chance that this was our low 
and it just front ran this area, right? Because yes, it seems like this is a large number, 43.7K down to 42K, but if you think about it, it's less than 4%, right? Like when a market is super bullish the way Bitcoin is, when you hear Tesla investing $1.5 billion into it, there's legitimacy in it now, right? Before, like a couple years ago, people were like, Bitcoin is a scam. Uh, it's, it's, a, uh, it's, it's just used for people to launder money or buy drugs or illegal substances, right? But now that you have a large company investing in it, one of the richest men alive, probably, yeah, you know, uh, probably the richest guy alive is not recorded, but uh, he's up there, right? Elon, uh, if he's investing in it, it brings an aura of legitimacy to something that its main uh, argument was that it's, it's illegitimate, it's a, it's a scam, it's a joke, it's, a, it's financial terrorism, right? Shit like that. So now that we have legitimacy, you're going to see, well, especially because we're in a bull trend, you're going to see people front run support, right? Because who the fuck cares if you get in at 43K or 42K or even 41K when this is probably going to be worth a lot more in the near future, right? So very good chance that this was a low. Um, I would have bigger bids right here, okay? So that the two circles that I just circled, I would place bids right here. Um, there's a very good chance that this was the low. Uh, funding completely reset. Uh, I think there was like almost a billion dollars in longs total liquidated, right? That's insane. So very good chance that even if this isn't the bottom, right? Even if we wick down below, that uh, we're probably, the worst is over, right? This this fucking hell candle right here uh, that's probably the worst of it so what I'm looking for is I'm actually going I, I already have spot um, exposure but if I'm looking to long I would actually long right here like you know it, it just I mean it's it's not like 15 percent right I really do not think we're going to retrace this entire uh, Elon Musk candle, right? That would just basically be the market saying that um, the news isn't any more bullish than it was the previous day, right? Um, could happen, don't get me wrong, but uh, I'm willing to bet that, you know, this probably doesn't get invalidated right here. Um, unless, you know, we enter another bear cycle or something. But yeah, I would enter here and I would look to add in these areas right so entry add add and then stop loss down here okay so um and target obviously i mean this this could go a lot higher right i have no idea once bitcoin starts going it's really hard to predict where the top is going to be and to be honest with you it's probably not even a good idea to predict where the top is going to be I say just keep trading it, you know? There's no such thing as too expensive or, or too cheap, right? Um, I can't believe it. I mean, I'm buying Bitcoin at fucking $45,000 and I think that's a good buy, okay? If you told me that two, three, four months ago, I would be like, what the fuck, dude? I told myself I would probably sell at like 30K, right? And here I am buying at $45,000. So when you, Think about, you know, price. Try not to think about it in, is it expensive or is it cheap? Just, is it a good buy? Can I identify my risk? Can I define my risk? Is there a logical area for me to put a stop loss where, you know, I'm not getting liquidated at the same time, right? So uh, this is one of the few times where when Bitcoin's moving up, that it gives you an area to define your risk and you know actually play it because i mean when you're looking at this like it's really hard right i mean if you didn't get in here i guess you have to get in like maybe up here and then 
maybe up here which is another like 40 percent and then it legs up again and then i I'm, i mean i guess you can buy the all-time high retest but even from here to here that's like another 30 percent right so when bitcoin starts going it there's like 20 30 40 percent gaps between moves so it's very hard for you to get in unless you're scalping uh but here's one of them uh this is how i would play it personally as as i always say i could be wrong but i'm betting on elon musk candle which is this gigantic candle uh holding all right i hope that was really clear and i tried not to ramble too much and kept everything straight to the point uh, if you guys like these videos i plan on releasing a market update video every thursday so tune in for that uh, thank you guys always for the love and support uh, i wouldn't be able to do this without you guys appreciate you guys a ton and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace